When you see these teams, what comes to mind? Greatness? Legends? Records? Hold up, I think I'm missing a team. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yes, the Phoenix Suns had 65 games before the bubble where they could have positioned themselves better record-wise, but it is still tragic that they didn't get to compete in the play-in game for a chance at the 8th seed. Still props to Memphis and Portland though, that game was great. A lot of the Suns' young stars showed out in Orlando, but none shine brighter than 23-year-old Devin Booker, who in the first 8 meaningful games of his career averaged 30.5 points per game, 6.0 assists per game, 4.9 rebounds per game, on 50.3% field goal shooting, refusing to let his team lose. I, among many, wondered how Book would fare when he reached playoff level games and well, safe to say that he's ready for prime time. Devin Booker has officially achieved star status and this is only the beginning for him and the Suns, but it could be the end for him and Nike if he doesn't receive a signature shoe. This is Topic Tackle, let's go. What's good people, JC3 here, and before brands begin their pitches to Booker's camp this September, I want to be one of the first to say that Devin Booker has earned a signature shoe. And this is high praise considering that in Nike's history, less than 1% of its endorsed athletes have been given a signature shoe. They've let players like Steph Curry and James Harden walk because of this, and they shouldn't make the same mistake with D-Book. In January 2019, Booker told Nice Kicks that a signature shoe comes with winning. When you're at the bottom of the conference, it's hard. I think my time will come. I've put in the work. Once those wins start showing up, I think it'll be ready to go. And there's no better time than now, as the Suns look to be a promising team for years to come, and Booker is coming into his own as a threat from anywhere on the floor. Also, the time must be now, because Booker's current deal with Nike is set to expire in October. ESPN's Nick DiPaola included Booker alongside Luka Doncic, Kyle Kuzma, D'Angelo Russell, and PJ Tucker as the top five players in this year's sneaker free agency class that Nike looks to retain, and as of now, they've only retained one of them, albeit Jordan Brand is a subsidiary. In his fifth season, in only 23 years old, Booker already has all-star and three-point champion in his resume and has increased his points per game and efficiency numbers every season since his rookie year. Booker has rocked some heat during his tenure with Nike, including several Procho Kobe 1, 4, and 5 PEs, Kobe AD PEs, Hyperdunk 10 Low PEs, and even the off-white Hyperdunks in an October 2017 matchup against the Lakers. Off the court, Nike Sportswear collabed with Booker to release his very own Air Force One low colorway to Foot Locker's family brands in June 2019. So it's not like Nike is holding back the heat from the sky, but he's arrived at the launching pad in his career. He already inked the richest deal in Suns history. That was five years for $158 million, which began this season. Now it's time for him to establish his brand in the marketplace. Many refer to Devin Booker by book, and Nike could capitalize on this from a marketing standpoint. Hear me out. If I was on the creative team, I'd advertise each of Book's signature shoes as a different chapter. For example, his first signature model would be called the Nike Zoom Book Chapter 1, and so on. Considering that Booker came up with Nike all the way from the EYBL circuit to Kentucky and now in the NBA, I hope he stays with the swoosh. Still, if I was his agent, I would make it clear that my client needs a signature shoe. Know what I'm saying? Because if Nike ain't gonna give it to him, literally any other brand will. So, should Nike give Devin Booker a signature shoe? Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. Stay solid, people.